Hi, I'm Robin Stegerman. I'm a 20-year veteran of the home design and renovation business. I'm an International Design Award winner, and I'm the author of the book, Renovation Bootcamp Kitchen, Design and Remodel Your Kitchen Without Losing Your Wallet, Your Mind, or Your Spouse. Today, I'm in the Fisher & Paykel showroom, and we're going to be talking about refrigeration. But first, I'd like to tell you a couple of things about Fisher & Paykel. The company was founded in New Zealand in the 1930s, which is why we call it Fisher and Paykel and not Fisher and Paykel or Fisher and Paykel. The pronunciation, of course, is based on where it was founded. It's now in 60 countries worldwide and it's the number one selling brand in Australasia. Fisher and Paykel owns two separate appliance lines, DCS and Fisher and Paykel. DCS is the pro line, and they also have refrigeration, but today I'm just going to be showing you the Fisher and Paykel refrigeration. They both have the same technology, and they both function the same, but DCS has a beefier look for somebody who wants a, a restaurant-style kitchen. So let's have a look at the fridges. The first fridge I want to show you is the 36-inch French door model. Fisher & Paykel makes what's called counter-depth fridges, and I want to explain this because I know it's a point of some confusion for consumers. A counter-depth fridge means that the carcass or the cabinet of the fridge is counter-depth. The door sticks beyond the countertop, but what's wonderful about the Fisher & Paykel counter-depth fridges is that the door is very slim. Uh, as opposed to many of the counter depth fridges on the market which have very bulky doors so they stick way beyond the countertop and that's tough in a tight kitchen situation. The other thing that I love about this fridge is it's a French door fridge and that denotes that both doors open into the same cavity of the fridge. This gives you clear access so that you can put in a great big platter easily it also means that you don't have a huge door swing impeding the traffic path in your kitchen. The other great thing about it is that if you're a particularly organized cook and you know how you've laid out your fridge, you may know exactly where things are in your fridge and only have to open one side to access what it is you need. Now, I want you to notice the bins on the door in this fridge. They're particularly deep which is great because they don't look all that wide or deep, but they hold a lot of stuff. We've got three bottles in this little area here in the bin, but notice that we've also got these dividers. This allows you to keep the bins really well organized and use them efficiently for lots of little things that sometimes end up in a jumble in the fridge. Fisher & Paykel's fridges use an active smart technology. And that means that the fan speed is variable. So it actually knows how often you use your fridge. And the fan speed is a variable based on your use. So for example, if you're away on vacation, you don't have to set it to vacation mode. The fridge knows that you're not there. And the fan will cycle slower so that you're not using as much energy to keep the uh, temperature consistent inside the fridge. Conversely, if you're a very busy cook and you're opening and closing your fridge door constantly, well, that fan spe speed is going to be faster in order to keep the consistent temperature in the fridge when you're opening and closing your door. There's a control panel on the inside of the fridge here, which gives you lots of flexibility and some fantastic features on how to use the fridge. The first one I want to show you is the fast freeze. Now that's a great feature if you go grocery shopping, for example, in the summertime, you come back with a bin of ice cream and it's melting and you want to get it frozen quickly. Well, you press that fast freeze button and it actually lowers the temperature in your freezer so that your ice cream is going to freeze faster. And that way you don't get spoilage in your food. The other terrific feature is what is called a bottle chill. And I'm going to press that here and show you. If you have someone who's coming over shortly, you forgot to chill your wine or water, for example, you can put it in the freezer, press that bottle chill button, and you're going to see an icon here on the outside on the water dispenser. 
that indicates that you have a bottle in the freezer and in 15 minutes it's going to start beeping at you so you don't forget about that water or wine in the freezer and you can take it out. I think that's a terrific little gadget that's going to save so many people when they're entertaining. You have an ice boost feature as well. This little electronic button, you press, press that and if you don't have enough ice when those people come over unexpectedly, just press the ice boost button and it's going to start cycling ice making faster so that you'll have the ice you need for entertaining. Now I want to point out the water dispenser. I think this is a really nice sleek look. You'll see a lot of fridges with ice and water dispensers that are very bulky, not only on the outside but on the inside. And this one is very sleek, both on the outside and inside. Look, there's no equipment because the water is actually from an external source. So you do have to have a cabinet adjacent to the fridge to house a water line and a water filter, and I'll show you that in a few minutes, um, either in the basement or a cabinet above or beside the fridge. But that way, the entire inside of the fridge is usable space for food storage. You're not wasting it for a water dispenser. And on the outside, it's so nice and flush with the front of the door. And the nice thing about it is that the water, what's unique to Fisher and Pico fridges, the water comes out on an angle. So you can actually fill a pot from this very flat water dispenser. And when you press the little panel, the LED lights up. So in the middle of the night, when you come down to get a glass of water, you don't have to turn on the entire lighting system in your kitchen. So I want you to notice before I move on to the other fridges, how this one is installed. This is installed just into cabinetry as a regular installation, but there is a trim kit that's available which will give the fridge a very integrated look, and I'm going to show you that next. Fisher and Pike will make three sizes of fridges. A 36 inch, which is the fridge we looked at before, and here is a 31 inch, but we've got two of them side by side. They also make a 25 inch wide. Now what's interesting about this is we have two 31 inch fridges that can actually create the illusion of having one massive fridge so that you open it up and you have fantastic capacity. This strip down the middle is a joiner kit so that you don't have a gap between the two individual fridges. But this way you can organize it really well. And we have it installed with a trim kit all the way around, which integrates these two so they look like one unit. Um, one thing I want to point out is the adjustability of the shelves. There's 15 different levels that you can adjust these shelves. So there's lots of flexibility for everything that you have to store. The other thing is that these shelves, although they look really thin and they look like they might not support a lot of weight, Studies have shown that they will support the weight of up to 200 pounds. So you can put anything you want on those shelves, your turkey, your roast, a platter of goodies, and you don't have to worry. The other thing that I like about it is that because they're solid glass, if you spill something, it's not going to fall through. And you have a cove at the back of the shelf so that if there is a spill, it isn't going to run down the back of the fridge to the bottom. What's also very, very uh, useful in this fridge is humidity control. Now, we all know that certain fruit and vegetables do better in higher humidity and some do better in lower humidity. And with this fridge, each bin has an individual humidity control, which is fantastic with this slider. So you can set it to be whatever you want, high humidity or low humidity, depending on what you're storing. Now you might happen to hear that beeping going on. That's to let you know that you've got your fridge doors hanging open. That's just a, a safety precaution so that you don't walk away and leave your fridge doors open. Now if you're loading a lot of food in the fridge, you don't want that beeping all the time, you can just press the alarm mute and that will stop it from beeping while you have the doors open so that you can do what you have to do without being driven crazy by the beeping. But when you close the drawers, or the doors rather, it will reset itself so that the next time you open the doors and you leave them open, it'll start beeping again. The freezer drawers are a great way to store food. 
uh, particularly because we know that cold air drops, it doesn't rise. So having the freezer on the bottom is very practical. And the freezer drawer means you have a lot of capacity for storage. In the fridge, this particular one that has the water dispenser, this is the one that has the automatic ice maker that falls into a bin inside the freezer. And you have this nice little scoop here that allows you to uh, scoop out the ice without actually handling it. This is available on a fridge with the water dispenser, but you can also have the fridge without the water dispenser, which means you have a nice flush, flat front, but it also means that the freezer does not have an automatic ice maker. In that case, you're probably, if you want extra ice, you're going to have to use a conventional ice tray. But that way you can have the side-by-side -side application like this with one fridge with the water dispenser, one fridge without, and you have a complete system. Now notice the installation here I was talking about earlier on the last fridge. We did not have a trim kit. This one, we've got a trim kit that goes all the way around on four sides. This gives these two single fridges a really built-in look and they're very sleek and very contemporary looking. I think this is a fantastic finishing touch. You could, if you wanted to, have your cabinet maker do it in the coordinating material of your cabinets, but I happen to really like this matching the stainless steel. The next fridge I want to show you is the 25 inch wide, and I know a lot of people are very wary about going to such a small fridge, but in an application like a small home or a condo, it can be really practical because it doesn't take up a lot of room, but still has a lot of capacity. And as you'll see, we can join those together as well. Here we have the 25 inch wide fridge. Now we've installed two of them side by side to give you more capacity, but of course if you live in a small condo or a small home, you can have just a single one. And although a lot of people think it might not be enough room, if you have a look inside, it actually gives you really good storage capacity for its size. And one of the great things about the Fisher & Paykel 25-inch wide fridge is that most similar fridges on the market do not have a water dispenser because they can't afford to give up the space on the interior with all of that mechanics that has to work. But here we don't have that because we have the external water feature, which I'm going to show you in a minute. The other thing that we have in all of the fridges is a nice little gadget, which you can see up here, which is a bottle holder. It allows you to put your bottles on their side and they won't roll around on the shelves. It stays nice and stationary. The other thing that I want to point out for the 25 inch wide fridges, they don't have a freezer drawer, they have a freezer door. And it swings, you can have it hinged on whichever side you want, but that way you open the door and then you pull out your crispers and your drawers. You have a very flat tray here which is kind of nice actually because you can put a layer of meat or fish or whatever you want on that one and then you have a bottom drawer. The one thing I would point out with a drawer uh, as opposed to a door, you don't have to worry about a wall adjacent to the fridge. But when you have a door swing like this on the freezer or the fridge for that matter, you do not want to have it mounted right next to a wall because you need this door to swing wider than 90 degrees, particularly on this freezer, so that you can get the drawers out. You see, if the, if the fridge were, uh, if the door was, was open only 90 degrees, and it wouldn't be because the handle would hit the wall, you might have trouble getting these drawers in and out. And also for cleaning, it would be very inconvenient. So just like you saw on the 31 inch wide pair of fridges, with these fridges, we've also used the joiner kit so that it puts them together, it hides the gap, and it makes them feel like one big large fridge. We've also used the same trim kit here that we used on the 31 inch, but I want to point this out, which I think is interesting. Unlike most other uh, manufacturers out there on the market, this particular trim kit goes on four sides, top, two sides, and the bottom. Now, although it's optional, I would always suggest that you use it because it gives the fridges a really distinctive look. 
In order to use that bottom piece, you do have to elevate the fridges slightly off the floor to allow that bottom piece to be installed. But just like you want your kitchen to be very functional, you would also like your kitchen to look fantastic. And this gives your fridges a really designer, sleek look. So I would suggest that you use all four pieces of the trim kit. And now I want to show you the external water filter feature. Remember I mentioned earlier when you have a water dispenser in the fridge, you have an external filter. Well, this is where we've located it in this situation, in a cabinet immediately adjacent to the fridge. Now you can mount this in the basement or in a cabinet above the fridge. You just have to realize that you need access to it because you're going to have to change the filter from time to time. But in this case, for example, we could load up this cabinet with all kinds of storage so that you don't have to lose the storage, but you do have to be able to remove it so that you can get at the filter from time to time. Now I want to show you the fantastic cool drawer. This is Fisher & Paykel's cool drawer. This gives you fantastic flexibility for refrigeration because you don't only have to use it in a kitchen, you could put it in a dressing room, a workout room, a family room, an office. Actually, salons use it to chill their face creams, but it has five different settings, which is great because that really gives you flexibility for whatever you want to use. You'll see on the top here, there's a lock. And that's very handy. If you've got a little child in the house, you don't want them changing the temperature on you without you knowing. So you unlock it, and then you can change the setting from freezer, to chill, to fridge, to pantry, to wine. And so those are the five temperatures, so you can store all kinds of different food in it, or beverages. Now you'll notice in the bin here, we've got wine bottles standing up. This is great, because it means you've got tons of storage for wine. There's another bin right beside it, which has a plastic grill in the bottom, and that's good because it allows air circulation. So for example, when you're storing fruit and vegetables in there, you know how if you've got fruit right on the bottom of a fridge drawer, it gets kind of gloppy on the bottom? Well, this won't happen because the air is circulating underneath it. And then you have another shallower drawer on top. So whatever your storage needs are, you've got a temperature that will work for any situation. Also, this cool drawer can be fully integrated, meaning you can put a decor panel on the, t on the front of it that will match your cabinetry. So it doesn't have to be stainless steel, and it will virtually disappear in your kitchen. Well, that's it for refrigeration for me today. This is one of a series of videos for Fisher & Paykel. We have one on cooking equipment, if you'd like to find out what kind of ranges they have. We also will be doing a video on dishwashers, so stay tuned for that. And if you'd like to find out where you can find Fisher & Paykel appliances near you, go to fisherpaykel.com. Or if you'd like to find out about my design services, you can find me at renovationbootcamp.com. I'm Robin Siegerman. Thanks so much for watching.